What are lightsaber soundboards? What do they even do? And which ones are the best? I'm sorry, I just, I just realized <laughs> I still have a mask on. It's so weird. I was out doing stuff and I came back to start filming. I forgot I had a, oh, this is my design, by the way. Grogu Christmas design for merch. I don't know if you guys are interested, but you can actually buy this right underneath a video in my merch store. I don't know, just if you want. I'm not trying to shove merch in your face. Sorry, this, this light is making it really hot for some reason. I'm just gonna take off my hoodie really quick. <sighs> okay, that's so much better. Hello there, welcome. This is Star Wars in real life where we fill our lives with Star Wars instead of actually important things like getting right to the point in a video. <laughs> This video is part of a series of videos designed to help Star Wars fans build their very first lightsaber. So if you've ever wanted to build your own lightsaber and you saw all the work involved, you got confused on the internet and you just decided, <laughs> yeah, no, then I know exactly how you feel. That's what these videos are for. They're for you. So definitely check out this playlist right up here for more videos of the same. Like last week, I did a video where I talked about the top seven lightsaber companies that you should know about in 2021. So if you're just starting out, you don't even have a lightsaber hilt yet, you're just looking for somewhere to buy, please watch that video first. You're gonna thank me later. In Star Wars The Clone Wars, there's an arc where this group of younglings go with Ahsoka Tano and Yoda to the planet Ilum to search for their first keywords, <laughs> I mean kyber crystals, which they then use to build their lightsabers with. The kyber crystal is like the heart of the lightsaber, and that's kind of what soundboards are. In fact, some soundboards are actually referred to as parts by their manufacturer. And part of the reason soundboards are so confusing is because the actual term soundboards is a misnomer. I heard the term soundboard and I was like, oh, that must be the board inside the lightsaber that controls all the sounds. <laughs> and even though I wasn't technically wrong, I wasn't completely right. And that's because they also control the color of your blade, the flow of power, and all of the other behaviors of your lightsaber. For example, do you wanna hear your lightsaber clash every time you physically hit it against something? Of course. Or do you want Kylo Ren to shout at you whenever you ignite your lightsaber? Yeah, you do. Ravage my saber, you impenetrable blockade. Corrupt my kyber crystal, you pensive Bantha. Now, I said in a previous video, which I will link to right up here, that you better know what you want your lightsaber to do before you even start thinking about soundboards. And that's because not all soundboards are the same. Some don't support NeoPixel, and others just have like one or two colors to pick from. And unfortunately, in real life, we don't have soundboards calling out to us through the force like the kyber crystals did for the younglings. So that means we have to find and choose them ourselves. But luckily, choosing a soundboard is much easier than choosing a lightsaber because because there's not that many people making them. In fact, there are two types of soundboard manufacturers, specialists and non-specialists. Imagine that you're at the Apple store and you just purchased a brand new iPhone, the iPhone 12 Pro Plus, <laughs> not the mini, <laughs> and now you need to buy a case. Apple specializes in making iPhones, but they also sell cases, which would be super convenient for you because all of your shopping can just be done in that one store. Or you could go shop somewhere else and maybe find a better case made by a company that specializes in phone cases, like Otterbox, for example, which practically makes your phone indestructible. It's the same thing for soundboards. Lightsaber companies like Ultra Sabers, Saber Forge, The Pac Store, KR Sabers, Electrum saber crafts, they are all like Apple. They specialize in making lightsabers, but they also dabble in soundboards, which you can add to your lightsaber order on their website. So those are the non-specialists. As for the actual specialists, the two most popular are Plector Labs and Frederick Hubinet. Plector Labs is an electronics company founded by Irv Plector. He self-taught himself how to build, program, and mass-produce circuit boards from the ground up, and now sells what's arguably the best soundboard on the planet, the Crystal Focus 10, also known as the CFX, which is what I have right here. And prior to the CFX, he made several other soundboards like the Prism, Pico Crumble, and the Nano Biscotti. Frederick Hubinet is a software developer and engineer responsible for creating the other best soundboard on the planet, the Profi. Also, he might be low-key a genius. According to his website, his personal interests include computers, programming, algorithms, and math. He's also worked as a senior software developer for Amazon and Google, and oh yeah, he also invented his own programming language. Those two guys are the specialists 
in the soundboard industry. And if you were to Google best soundboards, those two would be in the top two places of every list because they represent the cutting edge in lightsaber tech right now. The CFX works with all blade types and LEDs like NeoPixel, Tricree, and Accent LEDs. It's got smooth swing, flash on clash, lock up, blaster deflection, stab, tip drag, and other blade effects like flame, unstable, rainbow, rain. It's got space for 32 color profiles and 32 blade profiles and even allows mixing match. You can program certain sounds for when you insert or remove your blade or when you try turning on your lightsaber without a blade inserted. It's got support for Bluetooth and motion sensing for font selection and literally so much more. There's an entire list of features, like three pages worth of features in the manual, half of which I didn't even understand at all. The Profi has the potential for all of that and more because the Profi board is open source. And if you don't know what that means, imagine buying a car. You go to the car dealership, you pay for it, you drive it off the lot. That is the CFX. It's ready to go right out of the box. You got satellite radio, you got air conditioning, you got seat warmers, but you're locked into those features. Those are the only features you can ever have in your car, sort of. If one day you decide to add a prototype swoop accelerator to your car and enter in a swoop race, you're <laughs> out of luck. Now imagine that instead of buying a car, you purchased a car frame. Very aggressive choice. That's the profit. You have complete control over what your car ends up looking like. You choose the engine, you choose the speaker system, you choose the prototype swoop accelerator. But you gotta learn how to build a car. Or you can give your car frame to a very trusted individual so that they can build your dream car, but you gotta pay them. And once you do get that car back, you're kinda stuck again. Because if you change your mind about any of the features you requested, you have to send it back. Have them fix it. And that's the difference between the CFX and the Profi. The CFX is a Lamborghini. The Profi is a disassembled but completely customizable Lamborghini. You have complete control over what your car ends up looking like. And the Profi requires a ton of setup just to get started with the Profi. For example, you need to download specific software and drivers on your computer just to be able to start programming all of those different lightsaber effects. And if you're not already experienced with coding, I mean, you can. Theoretically, the possible lightsaber effects you make are limitless. Realistically, you are limited by your imagination, your skill with Arduino, whatever limitations exist with Arduino, whatever limitations exist with LED tech. Technology. I don't even know what that is, but it's super hard and pretty much everyone I've ever spoken to told me Hey, man, if you're building your first lightsaber, yes, the Profi is super dope and you can do anything you want But start with something easy. So while those two soundboards represent the best of the best That's not to say that other soundboards don't deserve your attention also because they do the verso board For example, the man behind the company KR Sabres. He built the verso specifically to help newcomers getting into lightsaber building. It's a lot simpler and easier to solder, but still has most of the premium features that people want in their lightsabers. Things like smooth swing, NeoPixel support, flash on clash. It's basically like a watered down CFX. A lot simpler, but still very powerful and very solid and still a very popular choice among sabersmiths. Electrum Sabercrafts is another great innovative company that makes their own soundboards with great features like being able to connect to your phone with your lightsaber so that you could change your lightsaber effects like on the fly. So that's what soundboards are, that's what they do, and that's what some of the best soundboards are. Now, where do you buy them? I'll throw a bunch of links down in the video description below, but here's the basic rundown. The CFX and the Profi, you can buy from various lightsaber companies like Saber Trio, Corbanth, Vader's Vault, for example. Usually it's the stores that don't sell their own soundboards, right? You can also find the CFX on the custom saber shop. The Verso board you can buy on saberarmory.com and Corbanth. And you can find the other store specific soundboards on their respective company's websites. You can also pretty much find anything you want on sites like Etsy and eBay, but of course, use your own judgment when you purchase things like these from strangers. So hopefully this video helps clear out any confusion surrounding soundboards, especially for beginner and future sabersmiths out there, including myself. Next week, we're gonna take a deeper dive look into the rest of the lightsaber components, like 
the battery, the speaker, switches, the LEDs. And in the meantime, I'm actually gonna start installing my soundboard into my lightsaber right over here. And I'm gonna film the entire process from start to finish and post up those full length videos for my patrons. So if you're interested in coming along with me on my journey to become a Jedi in real life, a J-R-R-L, a Jural, that's nothing. Check out my new tier on Patreon. Otherwise, I'll still be posting like highlights and the important lessons I learned about lightsaber building here, just on my YouTube channel. Everyone wins. Until then, you will subscribe to this YouTube channel. We will keep on living Star Wars and my girlfriend is Raylo trash, like straight trash. Alright, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.